In the future, there could be major flooding along every coast. So says a new study that warns the world's seas are rising. Jim Axelrod has that part of the story. Ever warming oceans melting polar ice could raise sea levels 15 feet in the next 50 to 100 years. NASA's former climate chief now says five times higher than previous predictions. Well, this is the biggest threat that the planet faces. James Hansen co-authored the new journal article raising that alarming scenario. If we get sea level rise of several meters, all coastal cities become dysfunctional. If ocean levels rise just 10 feet, look what happens to Miami, Seattle, and New York City. Just six feet of water would do this to Fulton Street in Lower Manhattan, this to Harvard University in Massachusetts, and this to Galveston, Texas. The melting ice would cool ocean surfaces at the poles even more while the overall climate continues to warm. The temperature difference would fuel even more volatile weather. As the atmosphere gets warmer and holds more water vapor, that's going to drive stronger thunderstorms, stronger hurricanes, stronger tornadoes, because they all get their energy from the water vapor. Nearly a decade ago, Hansen told 60 Minutes we had 10 years to get a handle on global warming. It will be a situation that is out of our control. We would reach a tipping point. We're essentially at the edge of that. That's why this year is a critical year. Critical because of a United Nations meeting in Paris in December designed to reach legally binding agreements on carbon emissions, Charlie, those greenhouse gases that create global warming. Thanks, Jim.